Welcome back to the channel. This is the next day in our grand adventure and I'm working solo for a little bit this morning and I'm gonna cover up this rust there I sprayed on some of the uh, rust primer and now I'm gonna come back and paint it with this sound muffling uh, rough textured I hesitate to call it paint it's almost a paste it kind of just smudges on but it's really easy to handle and it's absolutely easy to paint upside down which is really useful I'm covering up this uh, entryway step even though this is eventually going to get covered in wood I just don't want this to continue rusting and degrading and this will give it a nice waterproof seal and honestly it looks pretty good I'm also going to go around the door frame here and this gives it a, a tighter um, seal when you close the door and it feels like it's almost hermetic at this point, almost airtight, just with this extra layer of rubberized paint. You can also use this, uh, this is like the stuff they try to sell you at auto dealerships when they say, uh, you know, the undercoating on your car. Most cars come with it already, and so they're just trying to take you for a walk at the car dealership. And the bucket of this stuff cost maybe $30. Um, and it's gonna be way, way more than we need. I totally could have gotten away with like the one liter bucket of it, but we went ahead and got, I don't know how many liters that is, but it's way too much. I mean, I could, I could paint the entire underside of the van, and my own personal car and still have plenty left over. It makes me want to cover up everything with black rubber. Wait, that didn't sound right. I also got some of it on my arm while I was painting and as I'm editing this video two days later there are still traces of it on there and because it's the rubberized substance it like really hurts if you try to scrape it off. It really sticks to the skin. Which gives me confidence that it will last a long time uh, sticking to the vehicle. Now I'm doing the back entryway again just to give it a little bit of a, a weather seal on the back plus a lot of the paint was scraping away here. There's a lot of places on this car where the paint uh, could use a little refreshing. Now I'm doing the underside of the, the rear wheel wells. This will reduce the noise of impact from gravel and it'll also protect the steel wheel covers from road damage. Here I am on the other side of the car trying not to get this stuff on the driveway of this uh, house we're renting. The homeowners have already been incredibly patient with us. This, uh, the place we're renting is kind of uh, meant for a weekend getaway and we rented it for three months. There's the finished product. That's what it looks like. Shiny, black, waterproof, textured. Those little spots on there are just dirt. Not gaps in coverage. And once we rip the tape off, those lines are gonna be pretty clean. Never skimp on painter's tape. Buy the most expensive masking tape. You will not regret it. Because the cheap stuff just is more of a headache and it doesn't work. So the next painting job for today is to paint the roof and I wanted to get it a lighter color so it will reflect more heat because the the best way to stop heat from getting into the van is to prevent it from ever getting in in the first place. You can see the amount of light is less on the left side is the part that I painted, and then on the right side I haven't. But this is only the first coat, so I'm gonna have to go back and get more paint, do a second coat, maybe a third. But it's also a lot lighter on top, so that should reflect a lot of the heat. That's my hope anyway. I don't know what I'm doing. 
I'm painting the roof of my van. Why? Well, to reduce the amount of light and heat that comes inside since we're going to be living in there. And it's going to take more than one coat, obviously. I don't know why I, would thought, I thought it would take less. But that's what it looks like so far. Which is, it just makes the surface heavier because that plastic is so thin, despite the fact that it's got paint on. These are some sound dampening strips that we're putting on the roof to muffle the sound of rainwater hitting the roof. Because while I like the sound, I don't want it to be deafening. And that roof is really thin. It's just a sheet of plastic with some paint on top. And this will hopefully help quiet it out a little bit. Thanks for watching.